Saturday, it remains an open competition. So how will Robert Griffin III do in Cleveland this season? Skip? Shannon Sharp, I have bad feelings about this. For the record, I'm a huge RG3 fan. I was before he was drafted. Mm -hmm. I said on this show, I thought his career would be slightly better than Andrew Lux. And all RG3 did as a rookie was win Offensive Rookie of the Year mm -hmm. and lead that team to the NFC East title and put them in position to win a playoff game in which they were up 14 to nothing when he tweaked his knee and later wrecked his knee, as you well know. Yes. Which was pretty much the end of RG3 as we knew and loved him, or at least I knew and loved him. Mm -hmm. I'm also a big Hugh Jackson fan. I, I definitely believe in Hugh Jackson. I know Jack. you do. But I don't believe in this spot for my man RG3 because I believe he was signed from the start to be little more than a placeholder in Cleveland, little more than a big name, former big name diversion for the fans to, to at least be fascinated by for a little while as the new regime tries to retool this team on the fly. It's going to be, for a while, the worst team by far in the National Football League. I don't think Robert or any other quarterback will have much of a chance with this team, and I think he will be the one who takes the early beating as they prepare for the Cody Kessler era in Cleveland. I think Hugh Jackson loves Cody Kessler. Hugh has coaching ties back to USC, mm -hmm. as you know. He knows people at USC. He ra I've got all the quotes here. He raved about Cody Kessler after they they felt like they stole him in the third round. They had him targeted as a, their third round pick. And he raved about his accuracy. He was a 67% passer for his career at USC, his athletic ability. And he said, this is a guy we feel very comfortable with and we think he's going to have an opportunity to ascend. He also used the, you gotta trust me on this one, which means code for, as you know, I love this kid. I, I see something in this kid that others don't see. And by the way, when I look at his numbers at USC, I do think he was underrated because their team didn't get the national acclaim that we thought it would get. But he was 88 touchdown passes to 19 picks. That year, two years ago, that he had was 39 to five. Last year, he struggled a little bit at 29 to seven, but their team struggled because their coach went south on them, obviously with all the mess with, yes. with Sarkeesian. Mm -hmm. So my point is, I do think he was a steal. I think they will ease him into the starting lineup in game seven, eight, nine, somewhere in there. And I just feel like my man, Robert, won't get the shot he deserves as he tries to refine himself and his confidence playing behind a bad line for a bad football team in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, I think a lot of, of why Kessler kind of went unnoticed is that big game UCLA he didn't play particularly no. well Stanford he didn't play well Oregon all the big games were you mean this past year or two years ago in his career yeah you look at it and you says okay we want to see what this guy can do against top level competition especially rivalry games and he, he didn't play particularly well um the question I have is that RG3 is he going to be willing to run some of that zone read stuff some of that read option to get back I'm not saying I it hope has so I'm not saying it has to be a steady diet of Skip. No, but Skip. It's, a, it's a big part it's a of big game. part of it who he him, is. I agree. Skip, that's how he won the Heisman Trophy. That's how he won a, 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 a Rookie of the Year. But then he wanted to scrap that and become immediately a Tom Brady. That's not what he is. If you look he, at... He said he wanted to be Peyton Manning. He, he did. That. Okay. No, nope, that yeah. won't work. Yeah, no. Uh, and if you look at it, early on in his rookie year, a lot of people thought he's better than Cam. He's better than Russell Wilson. And now... Russell Wilson's won a Super Bowl. Cam's been an MVP, been to a Super Bowl. Everybody's forgotten about RG3. I think he has to get back to doing that. His legs is what makes him dynamic, not his arm. Yeah, he can make throws, but he's going to have to get back to making plays outside of the pocket. The first thing I got to know is, will his legs ever get right again? Will they get world-class speed? No, 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 not after. He, just two ACL. He's had two ACL surgeries, Skip. Um, but the question is his mind. Does he believe? that he can run and suffer no ill effects. Will Hugh Jackson put him in situations? Because everybody that Hugh touches, they are their they're goal in the end. Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton, you look yeah. at Andy Dalton, Carson Palmer. Yeah. The, Raiders, the Raiders gave up so much to get, to get him and then gave him away. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I believe in RG3, I believe that he can come back. Will we ever see that dynamic of a season that, that he had his rookie year? I don't believe so, Skip. I also have total confidence in Hugh Jackson, but he's on a, a not a very good foot, football team in a very tough division. Baltimore would be much improved this they year. Will. I the agree. Steelers, 
I think offensively, the Steelers have the most talent in the NFL. Um, and Cincinnati will be Cincinnati. So he has an uphill struggle that he must face. But um, I, I, I want to see, I want to see him succeed, Skip. He's been beaten down. I, I beat him down because, and a lot, a lot of this that's going on in his life, mm -hmm. in his football life, is his own doing. I agree. So everybody, you know, you know, Mike Shanahan didn't want him. Mike Shanahan didn't want him, and and and, and uh, Jay Gruden, Gruden, Jay Gruden didn't want him. All I know is Mike Shanahan took a quarterback in the third round. Mike believes in a uh, Kirk Cousins. You've heard him say he yeah. believes he can be a franchise quarterback. Jay Gruden gets there, and basically says, "Okay, I'm gonna put the job up." Kirk Cousins beat him out for the job, Skip. No matter, I don't care how you want to get around. Yeah, he, you know, maybe the situation was handled poorly. RG3 handled some situations poorly. Mike Shanahan did. Also, Jay Gruden did. But at the but, end but of the Jay day. Jay Gruden made it clear from the start publicly he was not a big fan of RG3s. Yeah. And I think that was hard for Robert to thrive under. Well, this is what he did. He, under the guise, he told the owner, oh, look what I did with Andy Dalton. This guy has way more talent than Andy Dalton. That was just to get in. Once he got in and got the five-year guaranteed deal, now I can pretty much do what I want to do. Look, maybe Andy Dalton is better. I'm not Andy Dalton. Maybe Kirk Cousins was better for Jay Gruden's system. I agree. But he could have handled a lot, a, a, little, a little different. But see, just goes to show you. See, when Mike was saying, let's take it easy, he would come have a press conference. I'm ready to go. RG3 would. And so then Mike would have to have come back and have a, a press conference and, and refute what RG3 was saying. Now you get somebody in, and he had the owner on his side when Mike Shanahan was there. Now Jay Gruden has the control. So he had to just, like, bide his time. I, he was I a good soldier. He was a good this. soldier. I'm afraid that RG3 will never have it better than he had with Mike Shanahan nope. his first year. Nope. As much as they clashed, yep. as Mike, as much as Mike didn't really want to take RG3 and, and spend that much to trade up to no, the second spot. Because he felt he can get Ryan Tannehill because he, he said, he said, sure. owner, right. if we give up all this and we're in salary cap hell, how can we draft players and then how can we get free agent players when they're taking $40 million in cap space? The owner wanted him. Mm -hmm. They made it work. And then he goes in, and I'm best friend with the owner. The head coach wants to pay, but guess what? The owner signs the head coach's check. I got to do what you say. And lo and behold, it ended up, it cost them both of them their jobs. Okay, so how can this man with such a shattered confidence survive or thrive in Cleveland, Ohio, with such a bad football team right now? Like, like they're, they're going to get off. I, I don't know if they can win a game or two. I, I looked at it the other day, and I looked, and I found one game I thought maybe they could win, and I'm not even sure about that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Skip, I remember when I broke my collarbone in 99, and, and the Broncos didn't sign me back in 2000. I went to Baltimore, and I had all those questions. I was like, I'm, 30, I'm 32 years of age. I like, I won two Super Bowls. I've been an all-pro. I've been a Pro Bowl player. RG3 got to say, you know what? I won the Heisman Trophy. I was Rookie of the Year. You, you, I'm that. You told me about Heisman trophies. I'm okay. the. I'm the. I'm the. But you have to have confidence. I won that. People saw me. Saw enough of me and what I did for as an individual and what I did for my team. I agree. So in some and ways, it's got to come from it's, him. It's got to come. He's got to believe. Not anybody else. At the end of the day, Skip, you got to believe because if you don't believe it, if you don't believe in you, how can I believe in you? Yeah. Okay. Like I believe I'm busting you up today. Mm -hmm. And from Twitter, they said I'm doing. They said I'm giving it to Skip. Really, my Twitter says so, just the opposite. So put some respect. <laughs> hey, when you mention my name, mm -hmm. put some respect on my name. Mm, I heard that somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a dog <laughs> squirt about that. Yeah, I, yeah, that must have been it. Yeah. Uh, but listen, RG3, he hasn't started a game since 2014. It's been so he should be long. fresh. Fresh, but also a little rusty, rusty yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Uh, do you guys remember this? This chip shot missed by a kicker, Blair Walsh, and just like that, the Vikings were out of the playoffs. Do they Blair have awesome. what it takes to put themselves back in that position that again close. this upcoming season? An interesting remark by their star running back. We'll see.